Okay, we are back. And here is our stator production. So far, so good. Now, what I want to do is work on our nuclear pasta. Because I still haven't done that. I made the intermediate products, like the copper powder and the other thing. Now, what I want to do is get that production up and running now. We have three of the four project assembly parts up and running. And I have a surf like massive storage of copper powder and I have all of the other uh, I guess the one other thing being worked on right now so what I want to do is get six particle accelerators I was originally going to do that in the last play session but then I didn't have electromagnetic rods and I don't know why this foundation is here so we'll get rid of that Now I need to figure out where I have my production. It's on the third floor, right? Yeah, so basically I didn't have any storage for this. That's why I couldn't build the particle accelerators. Now, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can build these. And I did have the other materials in the storage on the top floor. This is the ninth floor of the factory, and this will be purely dedicated to those particle accelerators. Yeah, and there's the storage right there. I still need to build the hyper tubes, I think. Yeah, there's no hyper tubes here. So let's just put this in. And we have everything we need to make the particle accelerators. So we're going to put this in the middle here, or wherever I think is the middle. And then the merger will be like right here. And we will build particle accelerators. This thing is big. Like look at this. Like damn. Now I just have to line this up. Look at this thing. It's so huge. So we can make plutonium pellets from here, but we're not going to go with plutonium. We're sticking with uranium. Now we need to make the nuclear pasta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the clock speed to 50%. And what that's going to do is basically reduce the power usage to, I believe, 33%. And then I'm going to have six of these. So it's basically like three fully powered particle accelerators. Except it's running on like 200% of the power. If that makes sense. Okay, so it takes up a lot of room. I'm gonna put this like. Yeah, so we'll line this up. Like really, damn. These things are massive. So nuclear pasta at 50% clock speed. So again, with six of these, we have like 1.5 per minute production. It's basically 300% at 200% of the power. 
if that makes sense. Okay, and we just need to power this up now. Three. It's four. Five. And six. just need to connect it to power all right you are all powered up and I can fly as well so Put the mergers. Want this going towards the space elevator. Actually, I actually have room for one more, I think. But we'll just stick with this. Look at this. There's going to be some awesome production here. And then from there, you need to check this out. So we're going to have to actually we might need to move it to the side, I think. Yeah, we're probably going to have to put it on the side. Because this is already blocked by hyper tubes. I don't want to like interfere with it. So it's probably going to be like somewhere in that direction. And I think there is a third line here going towards a space elevator that's not currently being used. So we need to use that. Anyway, what do I want to do first? Well, let's check out our power. Okay, so power is good for the time being. Now, let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do... Wait, it's not three. What am I doing? Okay, so we're going to have it like... Go over here. And then we're going to have a splitter. Like this. You know, probably should put on the Blade Runners. I don't need to fly for this part. I need horizontal speed. Okay, now we can do this. And this. Okay. Well, we need to figure out where that production is. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so two radio control units. Fused modular frames are not 
producing as much. Okay, so we need to expand that, but we'll do that after nuclear pasta. But in any case, we got a lot of these things now. Quite a bit, in fact. Oh, this is where it's coming from. Okay. Alright, so let's go make the wall here. I think I'm gonna do... What am I gonna do? Okay, let's just do this. And then I guess we will split this off somewhere here. I guess this will be going to the other side instead. And then we'll just have a splitter over there going in the other direction. Uh, like so. And then the copper powder would have to come from the other side. And it's going in. So we'll do the... You know what? Let's do the copper powder first. Need to figure out how to bring this up. Okay, so... How are we doing this? Like, it would have to come up through here. means I'm gonna have to put a wall conveyor like right here then it will come up here and then go all the way up here all right so let's go get our copper powder all the way over here so all right put the ramp like right here You'll go in here. Oh, it should count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is do this. And then, wait, that's input. 
Wait, so we can't actually do this. Hang on. That's encroaching. Oh, geez. How am I supposed to turn this around? Like, how do I actually get stuff out of here? Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this first. Like, we're going to have to deal with this somehow. I think I have to actually do this manually. But anyway. So it's going to have to be like something like this. Put this over here. All right, bring this over here. And then we're going to start bringing the copper powder up to the ninth floor. Okay, so up here is the farthest it will go. So that's why we have to do this. Can this go all the way up here? No, it doesn't. So put this here. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to go over here because that's where the power is. And this is going to allow me to fly up here. Now, actually, what I'm going to do... Just bring this all the way to the end here. That way everything will line up. And we'll do it like this. This here. Oh, guess that's not going to work. Instead, what I'll do. Do this, do this. This goes here. Oh, I'm gonna need some aluminum sheets. But basically, that's how we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna do the same thing, like right over here. Now we go all the way to the fourth floor. And then we're going to get more sheets. Okay, this thing is starting to get backed up, it looks like. It's the modular engines. You know, I actually forget what that's used for. Why is this here? It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Alright, so back up to the ninth floor. So we're gonna finish this side first and then we'll work on the other side. Basically... 
it's gonna slowly fill up. Oh, there's no power here? What the hell? Come on. All of these should be powered up, though. Yeah, these are all powered up. Yeah, I want to see this first. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And there's our power consumption. Each of these will go up to a maximum of 494. Probably should have been 500, but you know. That's fine. So it's basically running at 50% production speed and 33% power consumption. So that's why I'm making six of these. Basically, to save power. Now what I'm going to do is bring this stuff over here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Um, make it five. Or make it six. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now I can hear that stingray. Like several floors beneath me. I mean, look at this. Look how high up we are. Like, what are those things over there? I, oh, that's my stator production. I can see it from here. And then off in the distance, it's like obscured by fog. Yeah, still going up in power. So the power fluctuates, but that's okay. Now we are going to be bottlenecked by these pressure conversion cubes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Then, we're going to do... So we're going to have... These lifts right here. Right here. And right here. Then a splitter goes... Right here. So we're going to bring this over here. So I have to double check our production of those pressure cube converters. I'm, like I need to see if we're actually producing enough. Because the look of this can be deceiving. We need lots of this copper powder, but not as many pressure conversion cubes. So if I'm producing enough, then it's fine. But that's what I'm going to check later on.
Okay, here we go. It's all still going great. This is at 11%. Damn. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should just like... No, can I like take... Can I split this in half or something? No? Well, okay, fine. Be like that. Yeah, this recipe only takes like one pressure conversion cube. Am I not allowed to, like, take this off? Oh, yes, I can. Like, that's weird. So I had to control click to get it out. That did seem kind of weird, though. Okay, that should do it. So all of our copper powder and cubes are now out of our inventory. Oh, look at that. Now I need to extract all of the copper powder from that container back there. Like, I have that industrial container that's still full of copper powder. I need to get the stuff out of it first. 